All right, everybody. So let's give you a tour of the scary bus. Um, again, this is actually part of history. I mean, this is a, a piece of Americana. This was an interstate bus to travel the newly built highways in America made by GM. And it's a PD4106 coach number 1724. So all you bus nuts out there will know. So let's get in here because this thing's kind of scary. Now, there's the, the cockpit, if you will. And it needs some love. I mean, pretty cool seat. This seat's pretty comfortable. And look at the gauges here. I mean, all solid metal. <laughs> There's metal everywhere. I mean, you really can't, if you buy these things right, you really can't lose. I mean, not that I want to scrap it out, but the scrap value on this thing must be significant. It is mostly aluminum. So here it is. And it's dirty. Okay, folks? And if you could smell it in here, it smells like a wet dog, marijuana, and diesel fuel. Um, that's what it smells like. And, 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 um, and uh, bachelor funk, bachelor BO. That's what it smells like in here. And uh, we'll, uh, I'll show you how I'm going to get the smell of that out of here. But this is it. There was a, uh, the, the, the gentleman I bought this from, the young man that I bought this from was 28 years old, single. And this is, this is how they live. You know, not uncommon. I go to people's houses every day because of my work. And this is not an uncommon scene. But um, when I first saw it, of course I was going to walk away. But really what sold me on this was that I always wanted a two-stroke Detroit diesel. Um, and now I could say I've owned one. These are uh, these flex steel captain's chairs are not in bad shape. I'm going to try to salvage those a little stained, but everything's expensive today. I mean, you go online, you shop RV furniture. I'm going to try to salvage as much as I can. I think that couch is going to go. Um, this cabinet. Okay. So let's talk about the headliner, obviously heavily smoked in. And, uh, I, am going to definitely going to do the headliner. I know it's a lot of work. You got to take down everything. Um, but I'm definitely going to do the headliner on this. It's not that it's expensive. It's just very time consuming. And um, I'll just do little things little by little. I'll just do things little by little. Just how you eat an elephant, one piece at a time. So I'll just tackle this project one piece at a time. And I just want to show you this funk here. And I'm just do documenting this also for myself so I could see the progress that I made. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, he left a lot of trash in here. It was almost like I evicted him. I, I didn't evict him, I mean, I bought it. And the kid had a pretty cool story. Nice kid, from what I could tell. I only knew him for like 10 minutes, you know, because of the transaction. And um, this is all the stuff he left in there. Look at this Fultron, Fultron high fidelity speaker system. With a Fultron tape deck, never heard of that brand. Um, Oh, that must be some kind of bleed thing. And I, I think I'm going to keep this... Uh, ooh. I'm going to try to, again, salvage as much as I can. I'm, I'm definitely going to do a new countertop. Um, or I might just replace this whole cabinet. Who knows? Uh, the dinette set is here. It actually has a pretty... Well, now it's getting dark. It actually has a pretty nice... Um, Refrigerator, let's get into a more lighted space. The bathroom, you know, vanities aren't expensive. You know, it could probably get away with using one from Home Depot. I don't know what I'm going to do about the heating system here. Got to research what's out on the market. Um, the toilet, that's not, you know, that's just because this vent is leaking. If you could see it outside, it's covered with duct tape. I'm just going to put a max air vent on it real quick just so it stops the leak. Um, and then, um, and then when I have more time, just do a proper repair. The shower, again, all <laughs> funky, all. And it, once you're in here for four minutes, the, um, you do get used to the smell. You, I mean, you don't smell the smell actually. And um, so, and this is this is the bedroom here. So a lot of work. Like I said, I'm gonna try to salvage as much as I can in here. I know you're like, well, man, what can you salvage from here? Well, you know, you'd be surprised what a little bit of cleaning could do. Um, 
he left his surfboards, his boots. I mean, this is where the the boy slept. And I mean, this thing looks scary with these curtains outside, and it looks like the windows were tinted. But like I said, we'll just we'll fix that, man. We'll just just take this down right now. All right. Oh, and I got another cracked window there. Just have to source that somewhere. So it's just going to be a little project so I could drive locally um, with my family. Who knows? Maybe we'll take it down to Florida or in Connecticut. So this is it. Just a little video documenting my... And it's not bad. It's I like the layout. Um, it's a similar layout to an RV that we previously had. But the cool thing about these RVs is that even with this leak and everything because this thing's made out of aluminum and steel um and it's not rusted i mean i went over if this thing was rusted out, i wouldn't buy it because it's easy to turn a wrench it's very a lot more skill set fabricating panels and welding and things of that nature and painting which this thing's going to need a paint job but anyways um unlike a lot of rvs that are made out of pretty much just staples and wood you know like <laughs> everything's everything's solid it's not rotted out wood rots uh steel gets wet if as long as it's taken care of relatively quickly um it won't you know it's it won't rust out and then worst case scenario you could always just make a repair by welding in a new patch panel which is a lot easier than <laughs> rebuilding a, a wood frame on a chassis but it can be done. Again, if you have the time and the money, you could do anything. All right, folks. Um, oh, look at this old Magic Chef stove. Sorry about the poor lighting. But that, that that's it. That, this is this is her. This is this is our. This is my <laughs> scary bus project.